Hi Gemini, welcome back to my channel. This will be a general three card spread, having a look to see how your special person might be feeling about you and a situation that you may find yourself in around this period or perhaps into the month of February as well. Please remember these are all general messages. Uh, there's a lot of Geminis watching, so this could be from some uh, about someone from your past. This could be someone uh, that you're currently dealing with, someone that you've been with for a very long time. Uh, but hopefully there is something here for you, Gems, that could help you uh, in this situation, help shed some light um, into how this person is potentially feeling. Okay, let's have a look and see what comes up for the sign of Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do they feel? Okay, let's start off with the Page of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, so this might be an Earth sign, a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Virgo has come up with the Hermit card here. The Page of Pentacles is very fixated on a situation here. So for a lot of you Geminis, you do have someone's attention here. I don't know if you've lost touch with this person. I don't know if you feel like they've pulled away. I don't know if they've exited your life. Uh, or you're just wondering if you still have them, I feel like you do. The Page of Pentacles doesn't see or hear anything else. His gaze is completely fixated on this pentacle here. He holds it very gently, but he's still looking at it. So I feel like someone is still considering you. Someone could be quite deeply fixated. There might also be someone here who's very, who they're still interested there's still, there's still some sort of attention here towards you. So if you feel like you've lost this person here, Gemini, uh, or they've disconnected or pulled away, I do want to say that they do, they're still holding something. Now, we must look at how he's holding the pentacle, and he's holding it almost with his fingertips. Now, that's not to say it's got the firm grasp of, say, for example, the Four of Pentacles. It's the, it's the delicate touch of the Page of Pentacles. So someone feels potentially quite sensitive about a topic or about an issue or about your connection or where things are right now. Something might happen or might have happened for them to feel this way. Uh, but I feel like something is at their fingertips still. Uh, it could be a message here of communication, yes. But it's someone that's holding something... I wouldn't say he's holding it overly loosely that the pentacle could fall out, but he does hold it, uh, uh, I guess, not with a very firm, protective grasp. So there is someone here who's still holding on to something with you, about you, whatever it is that you had. There's still someone here. Also, uh, it's it's a very strong card of infatuation. Maybe for some of you, if you're working for someone, there's a, a growing admiration coming from this person. Uh, Paige is a young, youthful, a little bit inexperienced. So it could be someone who is inexperienced in love or is going to show you just how inexperienced they are emotionally or when it comes to love situations. And you might see that sort of behavior around this time uh, or potentially into February. Um, but there's definitely someone here who's analyzing the situation. The Virgo is here. This is the Hermit. Now, the Hermit has all the time in the world to think. He is the master of his own thoughts. Uh, he's got time to think and reflect and analyze and read into things and overthink things. Sometimes these are traits of the Virgo. Okay, the Virgo is very uh, intellectually inclined. They're very bright, they're very analytical, but that can also be their downfall because this can, uh, they can overassess situations or make presumptions or make things bigger than they are. But there's still someone here who's analyzing a situation or they feel like they need time to analyze. And I say that this person might need time because the hermit likes space, okay? The hermit dwells alone. Uh, oftentimes in the medieval age, the hermit would be the gatekeeper and he would have his own uh, chambers or his own dwelling away from everyone um, kept to themselves uh, so i feel like there's someone here who needs time to step back and think about things maybe for themselves maybe for you there might have been something that happened it's almost like they need to shed light on a situation 
and interestingly I noticed the fingers holding the lantern are also at the, the hermit's fingertips. So they're still connected to something, especially intellectually. Um, because the Virgo thinks a lot, there is someone here who's thinking about you a lot or their thoughts are preoccupied by what you've said, what you've done. Virgo is, is, is ruled by the planet Mercury. Mercury is the planet of communication. It's the messenger of the gods. So Gemini uh, and Virgo are both ruled by Mercury. And the fact that that has come up says to me it's something about communication. They're thinking about communicating with you or they're thinking about something that was communicated. Whether it was a message you said, whether it was a bombshell you dropped, whether it was something that you kept hidden and you revealed to them, whether it was something you said in passing but they've read into it and they're analyzing it. So what I want to say is that you're still dominating someone's headspace. Okay? Uh, they're thinking about you. There's a lot of processing happening here with the Hermit. But there could be someone here who either feels like you've shut them out. The Hermit was often excluded, okay, from society. Um, and, and they had a fairly good job. They were paid well. But I feel uh, in, those age, in, in that age, they were somewhat excluded um, or seen as outcasts or people that wanted that to, to be, um, I guess, set apart from the other members of society or, or, or civilization. So... In a way, it could be that someone might be pulling back. Someone might be wanting space. Someone might want to look at things from the outside. Someone might be shutting down a little bit. But they're thinking about a lot. You need to let them think, Gemini. It might drive you a little bit crazy. You're not going to necessarily have that validation you so need. Um, because you can be this way as well. You're ruled by the same planet. So it could be that you might see this sort of behavior in a person. Or there could be someone here who's feeling like you've shut them out, you've excluded them, you've, you've um, maybe even hurt them by making them, creating some sort of distance somehow, okay? Um, for others, you've got the beautiful sun card. This is Aries energy. The sun card is warmth. The sun card is harmony. The sun card is openness, recept uh, receptivity, responses, and a beautiful embrace. So for some of you, there's someone here excited to get uh, something started with you. The child is innocent. The child represents a new beginning, youthfulness. It's a beautiful life force that the child has. And it is symbolism of life. The son gives life. The child um, being born, you know, probably just shy of about uh, maybe let's say two, three years old here um, sitting on this horse. So I feel like there's someone here who wants to give life to something again or is very excited, okay? There's an energy of excitement. The flowers are blossoming. The sun is shining. There's someone here who feels very buzzed in your company or, you know, they feel excited to be around you, especially if you have children with this person or you, you're you recently finding out you're pregnant um, or joining families. That sun card could be more related to you. But Aries energy does bring a surge of motivation and challenge. There could be someone here who's willing to, who, who might be wanting to challenge you is feeling challenged or feeling like there might be a few challenges ahead but they're willing to undergo these challenges with you and my that shows someone that's very committed and, and very resilient and willing to be at your side no matter the cost no matter the circumstances no matter the imperfections the flaws the strengths and the triumphs so this is a very a beautiful card of resilience and with i do want to mention though with that sun energy this is the sun is divine masculine energy and masculine energy is quite rational okay it's quite logical more than emotional so someone is trying to rationalize connecting with you being with you maybe they're trying to even rationalize their emotions here but i think this is a good thing for a lot of you it could be someone that sees you as very maternal or very paternal they could possibly see you a part of their family or might even want to introduce you to their family, to their children, to their uh, social sphere, their social circle, or even have a family with you. Okay, they're seeing you as the light. Um, all things that are youthful, um, pleasurable, mischievous, and these are all very much traits that you possess here, Gemini. So someone is definitely seeing your light shining through and feeling very hopeful about what can come of what you have. Okay, I will leave your reading at that though, Gems. Thanks again for tuning in.